Well, hello. All right, this is a quick video for my fellow liberals because I would like to remind you not to panic because Donald Trump is now the next president. Uh, the vote for Trump wasn't made from crazy place. The vote was made because uh, it was a vote for, not especially for Trump as much as it is for, let's stop making war all over the world. That's one of the, the promises that he's made to us, the people. Um, it's about not being invaded by massive amounts of strangers uh, that we don't know what they've done, who they are, or what they want to do here. Um, there's that. And it's not xenophobia. It's just practical not to let a bunch of strangers sit in your yard. I mean, you don't want the homeless people camping out in your yard or pitching tents on your streets, do you? Well, no, we don't like it. And uh, we're not blaming the homeless or the immigrants for the uh, for the, um, the the creations of the bigger corporate global blob that's doing what they're doing that's causing homelessness and immigration. So we're not blaming those people, the, 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 the ones who are uh, the victims of a terrible system that's hurtful to everybody except for those few who make a profit from it, you see. So that's what people are voting for when they voted for Trump. And uh, so here we go. Um, it's a vote for cleaning up our system that allows us to be poisoned. You know that this Fruit Loop cereal um, has additives and coloring in it that's uh, against the law to put in the uh, cereal for the other countries, even Canada. They don't allow the red dye. And, and we get to eat it and feed it to our kids here in America because corporation. I'm just saying there's a lot of buffoonery and badness that we take as normal. And so the people who voted for Trump have said, no, we need to clean up this system. We can't allow ourselves to be treated this way. And he claims that he's going to help with that. Now, I know he's a he's a rich guy and he's in the big boy club, you know, so there's that. And I don't you know, that's true. You can't get around that. But that's what people voted for. They voted for this ideology that, you know, we don't want to be treated like little children um, who have to have the truth hidden from them. Because there are so many classified documents that we're, we the people are not allowed to see what our government is doing in our name. And uh, so, you know, and, and I understand that being liberal means being open minded. Well, I'm being very liberal by seeing and being open-minded about these issues. So join me, join me liberals, and we will see, you know, the bigger picture. Okay. Um, the other thing that uh, people voted for, for Trump was to stop transing our kids. This is not okay. In the name of uh, tolerance of the few who have a kink or a perversion or a mental problem, and we're saying, oh, you're not a bad person. Uh, sure, you're fine. And trans is okay. And gay is okay. And we always said gay is okay. And we worked for that. And we meant it. It's like, you be gay. You guys, you're not bad and wrong. You're decent people. And that's your personal private life. You live your life. That's how I always saw it. And that's fine with me. And, you know, Anyway, so then this other agenda came in and said, oh, trans is the same as gay and it needs to be and it's a thing and it needs to be rewarded and it needs to be protected. And, you know, all this protecting is very suspicious. And that's all people Trump voters were saying is this is this is very suspicious. And now these kids that have been trans for like 10, 15 years, they're coming back and they're saying, my God, what have you done to me? What the fuck have you done to me? So that's voting for Trump is just saying, you know, let's let's use our common sense because we seem in the name of fairness had to have misunderstood common sense. And so my motto is let's make common sense common again. OK, so don't panic. I, you, whatever you've learned from your media, take it with a grain of salt because the, the medias are owned by six millionaires and they all have agendas and they're all corporate and they're all global and they none of them care about you as a person 
and I am a carer. I care about you. I care to divulge my impressions for you to help you open up that part that that needs to see a spectrum. Okay. Um, so that's why I'm saying all this. Good luck. I'll do this more. I have some stuff about Leo and Mars and Leo because Trump has Mars and Leo on his ascendant. And that's going to be something to talk about the masculine yang presentation of love and what we need to understand about men and women and yin and yang so we can kind of move away from this feminist ideology that has really driven us apart. So I'm going to paste it back together. All right, then. Thank you for watching and I will get back to you soon.